Right, I just made it to Lake Argyle. What do you reckon, Ryan? I'm gonna have a, yeah. gonna have a bit of a look. Yeah. Gonna look in the infinity pool. Might, might even throw you over the top. Oh no. Wonder how far down to the bottom it is. Far. Far, anyway. He's gonna pop into the uh, the actual restaurant and bar area. Yeah. And scope it out and then we'll go to the infinity pool and while we're doing that we'll go and check out everything else. But it so far looks pretty good. We've got a nice little site, 132 Two. I think it was. And we'll a little bit, little bit tight, but not too bad. And anyway, we'll, uh, And we're gonna go. We're gonna um, test out that waterproof case. So um, we're gonna put it on when we get to the infinity infinity pool and see if it works. Oh yeah, because we didn't have one in Nigaloo, so we brought one. So it's the first time we're gonna use it. Is at the uh, infinity pool at Lake Argyle. Um, but anyway, let's go and go for a wander through the uh, restaurant area and reception, and let's go and have a look. What's it like in here? It's really warm. Warm, it's freezing. I just stepped in and it was cold. Alright, so we just come for a drive down to the uh, the wall itself at Lake Argyle and the, and the water pump down here that just feeds into the Ord River. Have a go at the amount of water pressure that's pumping out of that. That is ridiculous. That is unbelievable. They so can't swim here. You can't swim at the top there for 200 metres back, but you can swim here. <laughs> I, won't tell you I don't think I'd be. Uh, Swimming anywhere near there. Tells you how high. Well, I think the closest I would be swimming would be uh, well and truly down there around the corner. That is crazy. The amount of water that's pumping through that. Wow. So I've just come down into that road down there from the wall dam and come into the. Uh, I suppose like a little picnic area. It's not a campground, you can't camp here. So it's a nice big green area, got some toilets. Um, yeah, very nice. It sort of overlooks the dam wall and the uh, where the water spews out. But just through the drain up, got a few pickies. So I'll, I'll chuck a few pictures in and a couple of videos so you can actually see back down the Yord River. It's really, really nice.
through the drain up as high as I can get it. And got some really nice photos of the, the caravan park back over the back there of Lake Argyle. And then over to the east, and it just goes for bloody ever. Like, it's massive, massive. I don't know it's like five times the size of Sydney Harbour. Like, it's... I wouldn't mind taking a boat and actually going right to the other end and just seeing how long it actually takes, but... Yeah, just to depend before it'd be nice just to sit down here in a couple of reclining chairs and just soak it up without the uh, these wild animals over here against this tree. And it'd uh, be, be certainly very nice. A few moments later. Righto, so we just had a good nice little swim at that uh, the bridge down there and that last bit of footage. I don't, we don't even know what the river's called but anyway. It's the main bridge that comes over towards Lake Argyle itself. So coming back inland a little bit or towards the uh, caravan park is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we've come across this little um, oh, little point of interest I suppose. It's a, there's the road literally just there. And it's a... Uh, Aboriginal rock art in, up in this rock here, so supposedly meant to be of a crocodile. So I'm just going to wander up and uh, have a quick look. Oh my god! What can you see, right? Here is a crocodile. Oh There's the uh, moving state day today so we've actually just finished our last day in Western Australia and now we're moving into the Northern Territory so it's been a really good I think three and a half four months in WA we've seen a lot we missed a lot so there's definitely room to come back there's the uh, thanks for visiting the WA thanks for having us WA it's really 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 good so we're heading through now to the Victoria River Roadhouse and um, then up towards Darwin, got some friends up there, going to stay there with them for a week or so and then we'll have a look around and then we'll then mosey on back home, get these kids back into school and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But anyway, we'll go get a few pickies and um, we'll go from there. Morning everyone, so yeah, yesterday we got into the NT, as you've seen our last little footage there and then we ended up driving, it was a bit of a driving day yesterday, so um, we got all the way to Victoria River Roadhouse. Um, sussed it out, uh, we were going to stay there but we decided to push on a little bit further and we ended up coming about another 9 k's down the road to I think it's Kaput Tree Rest Area so <coughs> there's a, a small little area up the front there and hopefully you can see all those trucks they just came in yeah, they're obviously a, a road crew doing the fixing up the road but there's also another couple of vans up there too so but we've managed to come down the small track here um, and got a nice spot just here so there's a bit there's a few more little spots here um, and someone pulled in there sort of yesterday afternoon too just near us too but you get a sort of bit of a rocky track as you come in but it's not too bad so if you can get down in here but just be mindful if you get here and there's a few up there come for a walk down this road first because if a couple of vans get parked up in this little area here It'd be very hard for you to uh, turn around 
and you're gonna have to reverse back up a couple, a couple hundred meters. So we're a good three, four hundred meters off the road here, which is good. We had no road noise last night, just maybe the odd truck going past, but other than that, it's been a really, really good spot. Uh, today we're gonna move on to move on to Pine Creek via Catherine, go and pick up some supplies at the shops, get one thousand dollars worth of groceries. And um, yeah, so this is our nice little setup here. It was a very nice camp last night. We've had a little bit of a fire here through here not long ago, so there's plenty of uh, sticks of wood around to have a bit of a fire, but we didn't have a fire last night. We just had an early one and getting used to the, uh, the time zone difference again. We've picked up another hour and a half, so that sort of threw the, uh, the body clock out a bit. And so it'll take a couple of days to get used to it anyway. Go and have me cuppa and uh, we'll get ready to hit the road. Righto, we're at Mated Pine Creek, day number two. So we're just having some uh, some lunch. What's for lunch, Decker? What do you reckon? Um, Sweet chili chicken, chicken, chicken tenders. Chicken. Yeah, that's your, one of your favourite meals. So we're at Pine Creek, we're at Lazy Lizards. So we've been here before, Site 15. And we're requested Site 15 again when we got here. So. We're in Site 15, so that is really, really cool. It's right down the end. You've probably seen it from before, but we'll just go and have a bit of a wander. So this is our little spot here on the corner. Had Ryan washing the ute and all that this morning. Gave the caravan a little bit of a wash on the front and the rear. Nice little compact caravan park. 46 a night for all of us. Um, Nice big sites. We all got trees in between us, so nice and private. A little bit of free camping over that way. Through all the way down there where that bloke is coming through there is the pool and there's a bar and a restaurant in there. We'll take you back up there this afternoon and have a bit of a look. The showers are pretty cool. In the blokes, they've got old beer kegs cut out for urinals and for the uh, sinks. They've got beer kegs cut in half, so pretty quirky. I'll take you in there really quickly and I'll show you. Um, so, so we're just gonna have a bit of lunch and then we're gonna take take Decker up for a swim in the pool. But probably not Ryan because he's whinging about Wi-Fi on his <laughs> iPad. Oh, he's kids and bloody Wi-Fi, I tell ya. But anyway, we're gonna go up to the pool. It's freezing cold in there because it's got a cover over it. Oh, um, it'd it'd be nice if it was... Um, open up a bit, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. What are you going to say, Dagger? I, when I, I just trust feel the water, and if it's cold, I don't even care. I just like see how warm it is, and when it's like that, I just... <gasps> All right, love, how's the uh, salad for preparation going? Very good. What do we got today? Sweet chilli wraps for oh, salad. Oh yeah, I said I told everyone we're having sweet chilli. Just put, put all the salad, oh, what's that? Bit of avo, tomato, bit of uh, red onion, and uh, a bit of grass, just out of the, off the side of the road. And uh, yeah, sweet chilli sauce. We've got some pasta salad if you want. Ooh, a bit of pasta salad as well. Alright, well, let's go and knock this up and have a feed, and then uh, must be pool time, Decker. So I've just come for a walk down the road. It's, so when you walk out of the, uh, the caravan park, turn to your right, and you come down and you end up at the uh, 
the railway museum. Like you wouldn't even know this this stuff was here. This is a very busy uh, little town back in the day, like mining stuff and the railway here. I think the lady said there was a heap of trains used to go past here daily, you know, picking up mail, picking up passengers. Well, I suppose that's how they got around back in the day. There was a lot of there was a lot of trains. And all this stuff that's here in this park here, in this miners' park, was all shipped in from England, so you can imagine how long that would have took to get over here. And you can see how well it's built. You know, some of this stuff's probably 100, 150 years old. And it's uh, rusted, but it's still, it's, yeah, it's, it's still there. You get stuff today, it lasts 30 seconds. As soon as you buy it and walk out the door, it bloody disintegrates. But um, I'll have a bit of a read of these stories here and I'll, anything of interest, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, so we have that railway station, they've got a, a steam locomotive, they've got a station house, so you probably go and have a look at that. Um, you can walk through a bit of a miner's park, which is what we just showed you. So it was $5 to get into the museum, but I didn't go in there because I didn't have any money on me at the moment. Um, must be some sort of a mining camp over here. I don't know if it obviously doesn't, be, doesn't get used at the moment. Um, yeah, but half this stuff you wouldn't even know it was here. We just went, I just went for a walk with Decker. And uh, yeah, we found all this. So if you're in anywhere near Pine Creek, just yeah, camp at the uh, caravan park there and check all this out. So there's an old pub up here on the corner. We're just going to go and check it out um, and uh, see what else we can find. Whee!